Hello! In this video, I'm gonna show you how to rack mount the Focusrite Scarlet 8i6. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I was looking online and there aren't many um, good options. Uh, at least I couldn't find anything useful. And so I thought, okay, maybe there is a way to do it, uh, which is uh, non invasive, meaning I'm not gonna do any holes or anything and um, also I don't want to spend too much money to um, make the 8i6 uh, rack mount otherwise I buy the bigger model which is already rack mount so uh, which is more or less double the money but if you don't need all these inputs this is a way to do it so um, the tools I'm using and the other and the parts are this is a 15 uh, one unit 15 uh, centimeters deep rack shelf is called it's called a shelf and um, actually i bought it on a website where they don't sell musical instruments they sell racks for like computers and other things which is uh, actually turned out to be very cheap i spent about uh, nine pounds for this one uh, then you will need a kensington lock that's a kensington lock show you here um which uh, is gonna be useful to basically set uh, the focus right in place. I'm gonna show you in a second. Don't buy the whole thing. It's just, uh, you don't need it. Just the lock, which is about, again, eight, nine pounds, uh, you find it. Um, then of course, uh, some of the screws and the other uh, thing you need is on the back of the rack, you wanna have a 19 inches, here we go cable tie it's a bar this just this bar because I'll say, show you later that's where uh, you will use the cables uh, with a cable tie to keep the focus right steady uh, so you can move it around and when you have at least you know four to six cable that the load is gonna be spread around this is very light you're not gonna you're not gonna break it this is very nice to use to have all the cables very tidy so the first thing you do is to install the um, Kensington on the back, which is um, this lock here. Now, let me see if I can show you. There are two pieces, this one, and also this other piece here. So what we need to do to make sure that once it goes in, let's see here, First you put, and then you turn it to the other section goes in. Then with its own tool, just an Allen key, very tiny that they give you with the, uh, with the Kensington. Here we go. See how steady. Now, why do I use this trick? Because that's, I was trying to find different solution. This seems to be the, I would say, neat way to make sure that the focus right doesn't go up and down. Because as you will see, I'm gonna sandwich it on top of a compressor. So, um, basically it's gonna go on top of the compressor and you, you use the tray to keep it pressed, but if even if you keep it pressed, it can go left and right and up and down. So that's why the idea is, why don't I use the cable tie idea with the Kensington lock? So let's see if it works. Basically, that's what I'm doing. using the cable tie to set it in place. And let me see, I'm gonna do it and then see if it's gonna... It needs to be very, very tiny. Now, and you move it until it's on top exactly. Let me show you what happens here. Here we go. How's that? 
Now it's not going anywhere, and you will see once I put it on, it's just very, very steady. So leave it for now, and then I cut it later. So what you do, now that you are ready to go, you bring your, there we go. This is a shallow rack. I love the shallow racks because technology now is always a bit smaller than in the past. So you don't need the big ones. And also remember, you always have extra space. You have seven centimeters on both sides. So this is actually a Thomann one. Look, there's lots of space on each side. No worries. So you can have cables and everything. So um, you just now place it in. Now that is very stable. You will see that with this combination, it's gonna be even more stable. Here we go. How cute. Here we go. Not perfectly centered, but almost. And that's it. So I'm gonna put the four screws um, as always. Like to do it crossing. Always good to do. And now we're almost done. This is very fast. The trick is really the Kensington. And I'll show you how the cable, the cables are gonna help you to keep it in place. I kept the plastic because you might scratch it so after I may just take it out One, two. and now I'm gonna show you the back how that goes I already put the 19 inches bar and this is the back see now look at this guy it's not going anywhere I mean is it it's very stable super stable I mean I'm trying even this doesn't move. Actually, I'm gonna use it this way. It takes the least space. And still, it's not gonna move. Stable, very stable. So, to make it even more stable, now it's already stable, but cables are gonna help you. So, I already have some cables here with a tie. They say I'm gonna plug the output left and right and then we use the cable tie here okay go in to make it put it in place i can also put it inside make it stay here and you can go this way and now as you will see this is also gonna help to keep the focus right in place. So let me zoom in now, so you can see exactly what happens here. That's what I'm doing. And that's it, done. Simple, easy, total cost about, was eight, eight, four, so plus a bit of those, so 20 something. Um, pounds and you created a focus right scarlet 8i6 rack mount enjoy